Hello everyone. Uh, this trick is called An Infinity by Raphael Asaja, I believe. Uh, I first saw this demoed over at the library and it was only $5 and it, it intrigued me so I picked it up and I'll tell you, this is a steal for $5. I would easily pay $20 for this. Uh, it's, it's that good, I believe. So let me show it to you. You have a specter come help you. Now before, let me show the cards. Now this is a regular deck. Uh, it's not a marked deck at all. It's no duplicates. What they have the Spectre do is cut off about a quarter of the deck and place it over here. The Spectre does that. Let's say it cuts off that many. They cut off another quarter, place it here. So they do that and say another quarter, place it over on the end. Okay, now, before we go any further, I'm going to make a prediction. Give me one second. All right. Just going to fold it up here. Now remember, I'm placing this position here before the trick starts. All right, so if you do me a favor, take this quarter and place it on top of that one, and take this quarter and place it on top of that one over there, way over there, and then uh, take these and place it here. All right. Now what, you, what you're going to do is create a playing card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cards and come in half, and take about half the cards here. So you one second. Place those there and these over here. Now one of these halves are going to be the value half and one half will be the suit half. Which one would you like? So let's say you want the value half here and the suit half here. It can be the other way around if they want. Okay, so value and suit. Now what I'm going to do is take a card off the top of each half, place it here, and I'd like you to be able to stop at any point. Okay, so what you're going to do is this here, take them off one at a time, and you're going to be able to stop whatever you like. Stop right there? Okay. The two cards you stopped at are right here. I'm going to place them over here for now. Now, if you stopped one card earlier, you would have created a different card. You would have created the 10 of hearts. 10 for the value, 8 would be the, would, uh, eight of hearts would be the heart. So you would have created 10 of hearts. But you didn't. You stopped at these two cards right here. Now, if you went further in the deck, you would have created a different card. You would have created the Queen of Spades. But you stopped at these two cards right here. I'm going to show them to you. And I want you to... This will be the, the value, and this will be the suit. And you're going to create a card. So I'm going to turn my head so I don't know the card. So that's the value, that's a suit. So now you got a card in mind, correct? Okay, and they'll say yes. Now we'll gather the cards up here. Now, I made a prediction before this trick started. My prediction is a number. It says 22. So take the deck. Would you count down 22 to the 22nd card? So I'm going to take the deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Stop right there. 22nd card is right there. Now, remember, I placed this trick this prediction down before the trick started you stop me at any two cards when you created a playing card what was the card you created now they're going to say the card i don't know what it is i'm going to turn over the 22nd card hopefully it is the card that they created the ace of spades and uh there's two versions of this and like i said i'm going to show you the second version in a couple days this is the first version i hope you liked it it's a steal at five dollars and i'll uh, go to the library and I would, uh, if you liked it, just purchase it. So thank you and have a great day. Thanks for watching.